I hope you're excited to learn about an article that I just read recently in Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery Journal, and it's titled, Microneedling Outcomes in Early Post-Surgical Scars. As a plastic surgeon, I'm asked every day in my practice, Dr. S, will I have a scar after surgery? And the answer is always yes. The high likelihood of using a scalpel, creating an incision, and then having a scar exists. The goal as a plastic surgeon though, is to minimize the appearance of that scar by using the right instruments and placing those scars or incisions in an area that will be the least conspicuous. Now, when patients do scar, there are different ways of managing those scars, and I'm gonna to get to that in a minute. The authors of this article did an amazing thing, which is use early intervention by treating scars at around six to seven weeks through those wound healing phases and figure out if a treatment and a technology called microneedling will actually help. Now, microneedling is basically a process of mechanically using tiny, tiny little needles and breaking holes and puncturing the scar. So we're actually creating trauma in an area that's already been traumatized. You may be wondering, why would we do that? It effectively stimulates collagen growth back through the scar and helps remodel scars. See, what you have to understand is scars go through a healing process and we call this wound healing. Now, depending on what textbook you open, there are three or four phases of wound healing and they basically are inflammation, proliferation, and then remodeling. What the authors did was use this amazing technology called microneedling, which can help rejuvenate the face or other areas that have already been treated and we have good data on, but instead wanted to apply this to scars instead of lasers or other technologies. And what they found was by intervening early, we were able to improve the overall appearance of scars. I hope this helps and check out the article. Oh,